welcome to what is officially the happiest country on planet Earth. We've literally just arrived off of this boat here across the Baltic Sea from Tallinn on what was a beautiful voyage across the Baltic Sea. Rather bloody cold, but very beautiful. And we're here in Finland for the next few days and during that time we're going to endeavour to get to the bottom of why they are so happy. I mean, I know there's a lot of saunas here and that for me already like bumps the happiness level up to 9 out of 10, but why are they 10 out of 10? We really want to know. So join us on this voyage as we try and discover why Finland is the happiest country on planet Earth. Let's go. Finland is located in Scandinavia in the far north of Europe, stretching from the Baltic Sea to the Arctic Circle. With a population of over 5.5 million, it enjoys a chilly climate year round with cold dark winters and mild light summers. But despite the weather, Finland has been voted the happiest country on earth for six years in a row now. It's always fascinated us what makes this country so special and what we can learn from Finns to take away into our own lives. We are staying with our friends in Espo. This is Nastya and Ilya. Nastya is my oldest friend from school. We've known each other for over 20 years now. She moved to Finland with her husband Ilya from St. Petersburg a year ago. And obviously, with a unique perspective, they were the first people we wanted to ask about life in Finland. The government here in Finland, like much of Scandinavia, is socialist, meaning citizens pay high taxes, but as a result get all sorts of benefits and support from the state. Healthcare here is subsidised, public transport is abundant, there's a generous welfare state, and the average wages are some of the highest anywhere on earth. But is this what makes Finns happy, or is it something in their mentality? Yeah, well, I think in Finland many people like go hiking, they go see their, their families um, in their summer cottages, or then they nowadays they rent a cottage if they don't own one. one. What I see is quite common in people who are between 20 and 30 is that they have some, they organize some group retreats in, mm -hmm. in nature, reserves. Uh, then there are many festivals. I myself, I'm not a festival person really, but there are multiple festivals, mm -hmm. festivals during summer. Not all about music, but like any type mm -hmm. of like big events. After travelling from Espo, we made it to the very centre of Helsinki. Actually, the city itself isn't that old, and it was only built during the Russian Empire period. And for that reason, especially here in the centre, you can see a lot of similarities between Helsinki and neighbouring St. Petersburg. Libraries here in Finland are quite different to what we're used to. Ilya and Nasty kept saying to us that we need to take it to the library, you need to see it. We're like, okay, love to read, would like to go, but uh, it's insane. It's like an entire creative hub here. So let's go and have a look inside. By the way, we are currently in the Helsinki City Library. Libraries here are not only for reading, but are also places to socialize and spend time with your family and friends or just chill in your room. Here you can play board games, video games, use a computer or a meeting room, or even record your own music, completely free. You can also use 3D printer and this public kitchen. There is a cafe and an actual library part too. We haven't seen this type of concept anywhere else in the world, so it was incredible. Are you sure that it's free? So you can run movies here and board games as well. 
think we're moving to Finland. As we were walking around and enjoying summer in the city, the rain came out of nowhere. We got completely drenched. So, as soon as there was a break in the weather, we returned back to Espo. Helsinki is one of the greenest cities on earth, which is probably down to the amount of rain and snowfall throughout the year. But despite the obviously very changeable weather, Finns on average lead a very active lifestyle. And everywhere we've gone so far, you see people out running, walking in general, and of course out on their bikes. It is absolutely gorgeous along here and to think we're literally a 15 minute ride from the main part of the city. Unbelievable. Прям очень красиво, да? Пойдём, а ещё вниз спустимся. Давайте. Сверху можно оставить. Ага. Because of the like uh, small distance between like my home and my uh doctor and like near shop it allows me to use like bike <laughs> or have a walk because back in St. Petersburg because it's really 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 huge city you have to go like taxi or subway all the time and here you could use like uh, this collector bike right mm -hmm. yep like and it's the first thing second thing uh, well, it will be obvious one because it's about nature. Here it looks like it wasn't touched by the human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Finns somehow they managed to build all these like buildings uh, to bring infrastructure here. And at the same time, they d did not like uh, ruin uh, nature. It's really special experience because I've been like uh, to a lot of countries and uh, Finland, it's like for me it's only one country which has like these two abilities to live in the like wild nature <laughs> and at the same time you're like uh, in 20 minutes from the huge city не представлял, что будет плаж здесь. Just so you understand, it's 19 degrees today. We're in a t-shirt because we're cycling, but it is bloody chilly and people are swimming. <laughs> The place where we're walking now is only 15 minutes away from the city center and it seems to be the way throughout Helsinki that you're never too far from the nature, from what we've seen anyways. I bet you've heard that saunas are a bit of a thing here in Finland, but I bet you didn't know that saunas are so much of a thing that they even have them in bars here. Shock. Shock. Shock content. Yeah, but we didn't use it. 
объясняется ни разу. Мы об этом узнали, мы такие, мы пока проживем из-за этого. Но еще время есть, есть дома, да? да? У нас дома есть, и в бассейн мы ходим, поэтому у нас три раза все равно выходит. Mm -hmm. То есть все финны три раза в целом ходят, и у нас она тоже выходит. <laughs> так что мы такие без бара, без да, бара. Да, да. Но опция есть. Опция есть. И да. это классно. Да, да. <laughs> so... Quite a lot of bars here in Finland. It's quite a normal thing, apparently. Uh, as the guy said that we met earlier, to have a sauna in a bar. For us, I don't know. It's, just, it's totally random. It's absolutely nuts. So you can just you can have a beer, come in for a beer, and then you think I'm a little bit tired. I'm just going to go and have a have a lay down in the sauna, freshen up, and then go get another beer. You can usually have a shower here and everything. It's nuts. Watch. And he said that there are saunas for men and women, and you can go there yeah. naked. And then in the one where you can go <laughs> so, both genders in, you can wear it. Yeah, the guy working here said to us, it, just go in. Why don't you go for a sauna? And we were like, what do you mean? We haven't got our swimming trunks. <laughs> but yeah, you don't need them. Just come here, have a drink, have a quick sauna, have a bathe, and then go home. It's nuts. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. <laughs> Finland. And as well as the sauna, there's also one more massive Finnish cultural export, and that is heavy metal. Heavy metal culture is everywhere here in Helsinki, and in every bar you go into, you can see pictures of rock artists and bands. You hear heavy metal music on any street corner. It is a massive part of the culture. As we left the bar, we ran into a few guys who were really curious about what and why we were filming. The video we're filming is about life here because you've just been voted the happiest country on earth, oh, yeah, like yeah. five years in a row. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted oh. to know why, yeah. No, <laughs> if you have an opinion, why? I think it's at least quite safe. It's quite stable. I don't know about happiness. What happiness means, you know, if it's, you know, like some euphoric state, but Finland is quite so stable. It's easy, you know, you're going to re rely on things. Yep. That's a big one, I think. You know what's going to happen Yeah, tomorrow. exactly, yeah. If this says it's going to have, uh, open at 16, it opens at 16, and not tomorrow yeah. or in three hours. Yeah. 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 And like, when you're traveling to some other country, and you come back to Finland, it's like, you feel like everything w just works here. Yeah. So like, works. Yeah. So, are you guys just coming here for a drink, or are you going to use the sauna as well? Uh, I think... Drinks. Yeah. yeah. Just for drinks now, yeah? Yeah. 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 Guess what time it is outside right now? It's middle of July and it's quarter to 11 at night. It will get dark around 12 midnight, and when I say dark, it's about twilight, and then it will get light again around 3 a.m. It's just insane. But on the other hand, that means that during winter time, there is very little daylight. We spent just under a week in Finland overall, and from searching the answer online, speaking to Finns and to people who moved to Finland, pretty much everyone just said that things work better here. But I'm not sure if that's the entire reason or not. There are many countries that function well, with great economies, but something here just feels different. I think that it's a tough question to give a concrete answer to, because what makes us happy is a bit different for all of us. Many would say it's a simple, fleeting moment of being fully present in your surroundings. And from what we've noticed through our short visit to Finland, people tend to do just that. Whether it's an afternoon bike rides after work, heading to a bar for a beer and a sauna with your friends, dinner with your loved ones, or enjoying a good book in the library. Finns, to us, seem to enjoy and appreciate the small, perhaps mundane moments in life. And that, in particular, is what we're going to take away from this trip. What do you think, though? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, Thanks for watching this video and see you next one. Mwah. She's a doctor. She's a musician. Is she not? So the horse can laugh at the pizza.